Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Come on. Yeah. All right. All hey, right. Oh, hey, Aaron, what did you mean by the title of this slide? Well, Matt, continuous improvement isn't a new concept. Derived from the Japanese business philosophy of Kaizen, it's based on continuous improvement of working practices, personal efficiency, et cetera. Directly translated, it means good change. But you know, in software, we have to make an acronym out of everything, so we call it CICD. But the idea of making small, continuous improvements in delivering to the community is really what the TOC is all about. And you know, the TOC, it really started off small, and it has continuously improved over time. When the CNCF started, there was just one project, Kubernetes. And the TOC eventually added more projects, but there was just a small number that they could do themselves. And then over time, as things grew, as you can see in, in the landscape slide and things, there were working groups added, special interests group, which became technology advisory groups. And all of the structure scaled with it, and we had to continually change over time as we scaled up. But now, let's get to know who is currently serving on the TOC. Great, so the TOC represents 10 companies. Three are, who are from end users, not vendors, and the TOC members work in small, medium, and large companies. They all come from four different countries and even two different continents. They have varied backgrounds, from expertise in observability, security, container runtimes, and more. Um, as you know, Kathy Zhang, who just presented before us from Valencia, has just joined since then. We want to take cloud-native computing everywhere, from the desktop to the data center to the edge. Our mission is to take it everywhere in the world into every industry. The TODC does that by guiding technical decisions. You'll see that in the processes surrounding projects, the scope of the technical advisory groups, and more. We try to do this with both innovation and stability in mind. So Matt, did you know that 60% of people here at KubeCon, it's their first time? Let's give it up for all the first time people. So the outside looking in, you might think that the TOC is a small group of people who have these you know, collaborative board meetings, who are jet setters that travel everywhere internationally, have fine dining, and of course champagne. But really, we work on a lot of process. We are constantly looking at ways to improve those processes along the way. And we work through all of these processes. With process, you know what to expect, and you know how to be consistent. And I think that's especially important for the projects who go through those processes and want to know what's going on, how do they work through it, and what do they do. And of course, along the way, we listen. When you're dealing with lots of people, it's important to listen so that we can take feedback and continuously improve. So the TOC is a group of people who not only want to help grow the technical community, but listen and evolve the systems in which we work to ensure its growth is positive and sustainable for the future for everyone, from the technical advisory groups to the TOC, to ambassadors, to contributors, and the like. We're all working as servant leaders. We want to encourage diversity of thought. We want to create a culture of trust. We want to have an unselfish mindset and we want to foster leadership in others. In the end, we're just humans doing the best in service to this community. Our talents, our flaws, our idiosyncrasies, and all. So at Valencia, if you were there, you might have seen the same slide around the cloud native pillars. Looking at the evolution of the CNC landscape, we would like to outline the main pillars that got us to where we are today. Open governance and transparency is the base of our community, while technical evolution and interoperability created the vast CNCF ecosystem that all of us references. You'll see these pillar, pillars as the fundamental underpinnings of servant leadership and how each of these pillars can be expressed. So let's go, dive a little deeper into open governance and transparency. Outlined in Crossing the Chasm by Jeffrey Moore, the book describes the different phases of new and disruptive technologies. One key function of the TOC is shepherding projects through the three stages of the CNCF, sandbox, incubation, and graduation. This means working with projects, doing due diligence, being helpful, sponsoring them, and of course, ultimately voting on the projects. We're constantly updating the process to make it more efficient, 
create less confusion and frustration for all sides, especially the projects that we're trying to help. To date, there are 18 graduated projects. These projects include what you need to schedule and run containers, along with projects for security, monitoring, storage, networking, and more. And some of the incubating projects, some that were shown earlier in the updates, they look like they're ready to graduate. So this list may grow in the near future. The 37 incubating projects and 81 sandbox projects bring us to more than 130 total CNCF projects. This has grown immensely since that beginning where there was just that one Kubernetes project. These include a wide range of projects to deal with immediate concerns like security and things we're still trying to figure out like WebAssembly and so much more. Today, we would like to unveil a new sandbox submission process. Sandbox is that stage where most projects join the CNCF. Sandbox projects can be experiments, projects where companies want to start collaborating together, and so many other things. The new process takes place over on GitHub, where a majority of the project's maintainers already do their work. It uses issue-based templates, everything is tracked in the open, and feedback from the different groups on the proposals can all be tracked in one place. This new process is based on listening to feedback, and this is another iteration that we hope improves on the experience for those submitting projects and reviewing them. Uh, you can learn more at the GitHub URL up on the slide. So in light of transparency and open governance, we have meetings twice a month on Tuesdays. In those meetings, we review the technical advisory group updates, we address any open issues, and we constantly take feedback. So please join us. So let's talk about technology advancement and interoperability. With so many projects, many of which work in the same space, we would like them to work well together, both in collaborating on solving problems and in the way applications communicate with each other. To help the TOC manage so many projects in technical areas, the TOC created the technical advisory groups, which we refer to as TAGs. The TAGs cover a wide variety of areas, and if one of these areas, which we're gonna go walk through here in a moment, if one of them interests you or you have questions about it, consider reaching out to the TAG to learn more. Let's take a look at the tags. Tag security is active in many ways. Uh, they maintain a cloud native security white paper. If you're looking to get into cloud native security, this paper is a good start. They collaborate with projects on security reviews and supply chain security. We don't just want cloud native software that functions well, we want secure cloud native software. And if you're looking to get involved in cloud native security, this tag is just a great place to get started and get involved. They can point you in the right direction. Tag storage. Storage is one of the pillars of cloud. You need it in just about everywhere, and we depend on it to just work. The tag storage has created and iterated on a white paper around storage architectures in the cloud native, native ecosystem. Data access, deployment, and challenges of distributed scale of these systems, as well as a white paper on disaster recovery, which is particularly complex in a cloud native Kubernetes world. You will notice that four of the 18 graduated projects from the slide that Matt showed earlier come from the storage tag, including etcd, which is the underpinning of Cube itself. Running workloads is a big part of the cloud, right? You have your infrastructure, and now you want to run the workloads there. There are concerns around running them, updating software, day two operations, and more. This is where tag app delivery comes in. An example is the work they did around the operator white paper to help people understand what they are and how to navigate them. And so if you're interested in working with um, apps and figuring out how you run them, how you build those platforms that they talked about earlier, this is a great tag to get started with. So tag network. The networking tag covers a wide range of use cases in the cloud native ecosystem. Network literally touches every part of the stack. You will notice on their landing page they quote, nothing is considered out of scope. The team looks to ide specifically identify the aspects of networking that differ from the traditional data center, additionally exploring abstractions to enable workloads both in and outside of Kubernetes. Tag runtime looks at what runs your workloads. Uh, at a low level, this includes projects like Containerd and Cryo. Uh, it also includes higher level projects like Kubernetes, Kubernetes distros like K3S, running virtual machines in containers with projects like KubeVirt, and running edge workloads with projects like KubeEdge. 
Operating an open source project is more than producing code. You need governance so that project is developed in a stable environment. You need to work with contributors and manage community, which is a skill all of its own. And there's so many other little things that are involved in maintaining projects. Tag contributor strategy works to help projects with what they need to handle these situations. And that's something the TOC looks at as projects move from sandbox through to graduation. And we'd like to announce a new tag that has just been formed called the Tag Environmental Sustainability. At KubeCon Valencia, it was announced that there was a working group to shed light on the challenges and opportunities for this community to build projects that lend an edge on the responsibility of us to support sustainability. And I'm happy to announce that it's now a formal tag. This tag has three goals. First of all, awareness. Put environmental sust sustainability on the agenda of open source projects. Next, best practices. Define procedures to improve environmental sustainability factors. Develop benchmarks for the quantification of energy consumption of software. Develop techniques to manage software such that the overall energy consumption and associated carbon is reduced. And lastly, educate. Develop and participate in the creation of white papers regarding environmental sustainabilities in the open source space. Knowing what's going on in your workloads is important. When they are being scheduled on various nodes, and that can change at any time. It's important to have a way to observe what's going on. Uh, you can't just SSH into a server and look at the workloads and what's going on like you used to do. Tag observability is where, you know, is there to help you navigate observing workloads. Uh, for example, they have an observability white paper to help people get into the space, to help them try to navigate and onboard with the complexities of everything that's out there. So let's talk now about sustainability and, and how we sustain this ecosystem. Uh, speakers are always showing the landscape on stage to emphasize the size and complexity of the CNCF ecosystem. For the TOC, this means a lot of things. Priyanka emphasized that we are the fastest growing community in open source. And that means that we need to keep changing and adapting to our new size constantly. And not only is the landscape large and complex, but it's growing in size and complexity faster than ever. So the TOC needs to be constantly adapting to deal with growth, and we have rarely been able to keep up with it. Sorry. Sorry. But you can help. Going back to the title of this talk and how we can continuously improve our community, let me have you think about for a minute the idea of 1%. There have been numerous books around this concept, but my favorite story is about Chris Nickish, who about two years to ago today was the first person with Down syndrome to complete a full Ironman triathlon. He was told that it would be impossible. Chris details in his book called 1% about how small incremental process in the support of a community towards his goal made it all possible. One sit up, one squat, one push up, one mind. He talks about measuring our improvements and not just our successes. As the cloud native ecosystem evolves and grow, how can we as a community embrace the journey, make the small incremental improvements to the impossible possible? Just like Chris, we need a strong community and we need each one of you. As the landscape grows and the community grows, we need to scale all of the different parts of it. If you're using the technology, please consider contributing to it. There are many places to contribute, docs, translations, things that you saw earlier, uh, just helping others in the issue queues. If you know how a, you know, one of the projects works, if you can explain that, there's always people asking for help, helping others just learn this in the issue queues. And of course, code and reviews. So if you're willing to contribute to one of the projects, if you're using it, it's worth giving back to it. And you can learn more at contribute.cncf.io. Every year, the TOC has an election for about half the members. This enables there to be continuity across elections, and we're coming up to the next set of elections. Members are elected by different groups, including the governing board, the end user members, and if you're interested in joining the TOC, now is the time to learn more and consider running. And if you have any questions about this or something else for the TOC, there's a TOC panel tomorrow, and you can come by and ask us. We're open to discussing it, sharing what we do and, and you know, what it looks like. So if you're interested, now's the time to poke interest at it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you there.